My mum said, do you want to learn an instrument? And there was a piano in our house, a hundred year old pianola that my great grandmother owned. And I went, yeah, I'll learn the piano. I did a few lessons. Um, I got to kind of... No, that's not a good example. No, that, I didn't even get to that level. And then I went like this, and I didn't play for a year. And then about a year later, I went like that and went, oh, okay. Chords, I like chords. I thought I'm going to go to music college and learn how to read music because I want to write music for theatre uh, and I don't know how to read and it's definitely going to stop me. And so I went to music college and I didn't learn to read and I came out and I wrote music for theatre anyway. Musical comedy is an interesting genre through which to express frustration and address controversial topics. And if you get it right, it's actually a great form because you have this uh, inherent clash between what you're saying and what it looks like. So I'd sort of wear a suit and have my hair out and have eyeliner and sit down and... And everyone's like, okay, we know what this is. This is a pianist and he has a big piano and then you go, the mother, the mother. You immediately are subverting the expectations of the form, you know. When you take my songs out of the context of a show, they can sound quite controversial, but I actually am very, very aware of what my job is, which is to make sure people come into the theatre and sit down and go and have the coolest night ever and walk out having felt like it was the best money they ever spent. Kiwis, or what Aussies want to be, Kiwis actually are. Aussies are like, yeah, we're super laid back. And I'm like, no, Aussies are actually quite like cheating at the cricket. Um, I think Kiwis are pretty genuinely laid back.